Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm super excited today to be bringing you, or at least talking about the new Lego Robotics kit. It's called the Robot Inventor. I'm basically, in this video, gonna kinda give you the specifications of it and everything you might need to know. Obviously, it hasn't been released yet, so you won't know everything, but I'm gonna try to bring you as much as I can. So if you wanna see all of that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so in this video, basically what I'm going to do is just kind of let you know all the information. I'll send you the link so you guys can check this out yourself in the description to check this out for yourself and see how you feel about it. But I'm basically going to just kind of give you all the details and information and let you kind of figure out, hey, is that for me? Or maybe I'll just wait and see. So let's go ahead and get down to the bare bones of this. It's called the Robot Inventor. It's basically, I'm sorry, I got my notes down here. It's basically a five in one set, kind of like how the EV3 was, where they kind of gave you those projects that you can make. Obviously, you can make you know millions of more projects with it. But they're basically saying that you can build five robots in this one set. But like EV3, you could probably build 500. Um, it's um, kit number 51515. That's kind of funny because the EV3 consumer version was 31313. So they try to kind of copy the numbers. Um, there's 949 pieces in this set. Hey, what? I was blown away. I was like, what? what? So it's, it's just amazing to have them put that many pieces in the kit. And I was like, did I read that right? 949? Hey, what? So the release is supposed to be at the end of this year. And, you know, when you hear that, you never kind of know what that means. Like, you know, when they say a movie is supposed to come out in the summer, you're like, uh, when's that going to be? So there's no specific time to the end of the year, but that's basically what I got. The set is supposed to retail for $359.99. What kind of amazes me about that is that's kind of what the EV3 was going at. But you remember the EV3 only has 341 pieces. So 949 pieces, I'm like, hmm, wow. I don't know where the difference in um, the pieces came from, but the price is still the same. But hey, for those of us that are trying to save a buck, I guess that's fine. Um, the programming is supposed to use the Robot Inventor app, which is basically like scratch based programming. There's also a Python option for the, those of you that are advanced coders. So um, the, the only thing that I see is going to be a struggle or issue for me, and it's kind of like what Spike Prime was. In my class, all of our class laptops are only running Windows 7. And so this new kit is going to be run, running Windows 10, and that's going to be a problem for my class. So this is one of those things where I might not even think about this until we can get our, you know, our laptops updated, if that's even possible. And with, you know, everything going on with the economy and budgets and how much states are going to be allowed to you know, give school districts now. I'm not sure if that's even in the cards for us. Um, but definitely you can program this like you would, you know, your Spike Prime, which means if you have like an iPad, that's going to be something where you can now continue to program. So that's kind of where the direction we're lean, leaning on here with, you know, this robot inventor. Um, the five, the five and one, here are the robots that you can make with this. Blast Charlie Tricky. It looks like Gelo or Jello. And then MVP, the Modular Vehicle Platform. Let me go ahead and let you see what these look like.
So also the um, robot inventor is going to use a hub. Basically, if you saw the pictures looking at the Spike Prime hub, basically the same type hub where you have um, there's going to be six input and six output. So that's crazy different than EV3. So this is just something where I'm completely interested to see what it looks like. Um, as far as though, like I said, putting it into my classroom, that's something where I'm like, well, let's let's get this whole COVID thing figured out and budgets figured out before I even would entertain getting, you know, like a class set. I might be interested in getting just one for myself just to see what it looks like. But for those of you that teach, this is something where I'm like, hmm, let's not get too crazy and start, you know, looking at money until we find out there's money actually there. But, you know, for, you know, personal use, I can see this just trying to get a handle on it going, hmm, let's figure out what this thing is like. So I'd love to know what you guys think. For those of you that have already kind of looked at this, read the article, uh, I'd love to know what you think about it, your opinions about it. So throw those down in the comments section. But I was just super excited to see that there's finally something coming out. Because the EV3, I believe, was 2013. So it's been a long time before they've, you know, come out with something new here. So it's just one of those things like, ooh, new, new, you know. And I don't know about improved because I haven't been able to look at this yet. But it's just something cool, neat. And again, check out the link. I'm, I'm sending you the link in the description for you to kind of piece together what you think about it. But I basically gave you guys an overview of what that article says. I basically tried to pull out all the important stuff that you and I would ask and kind of throw it at you. So, you know, you can throw down what you think for teachers, uh, FLO coaches, what you might think in the description, or I'm sorry, in the comment section, um, just what your initial responses or reactions to this new set. So there you go, guys, the new Robot Inventor Robotics Kit. I'd love to be able to get my hands on this right now and figure out, you know, how different is it from EV3, but we're going to have to wait till the end of the year, and who knows when that will be. Okay, guys, so I'm throwing that out you, at, at you. Throw, um, throw down in the comments section what you think. Give it to me all. I'll, I'll try to respond to everybody, okay? All right, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Miss Yosega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.